this is second half. We're on defense as Omen. And was that a request? I need some help on defense with Omen. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see. I need a drop. So what's the situation here? You buy two smokes for pistol round and a ghost. So no no paranoia this might be one of the uh actually uh, th th i'm not saying this is a mistake this is a preference but i do feel like paranoia is probably the strongest the strongest uh, utility on defense that you can um, use to help yourself while being an anchor right with two smokes remember that you get you get, you get your smoke back right so you can go for like an early aggression with a one-way smoke on a main wait I'm going to remove this, this, and move my camera. So when, you, when you're going to do like a one-way smoke for a main, you essentially stop the push for a long time. Then you use paranoia if they push you, and then you, again, you have another smoke. But if, you're, if you have two smokes, then you're like... Okay, okay, let's focus on this. Let's see what, what, what's the outcome here. Okay, so you positioned for the one way because you didn't want to grief your chamber. Okay. I think you missed your one way. I'm not certain about it. Is your microphone muted or are you just not communicating what you're saying? Because it's very important to communicate what you wanted to do, right? So, in this case, you should be saying to the chamber, chamber, I'm one-waying A main, right? And when you then when you do the second one, you should say also, I'm smoking B main. Right? That, that should be like a default thing that you want to build up as a habit. Okay, you are... So, that's a problem that I see often... That you're being caught off guard, and not because of timing. So the thing is, your teammates, unfortunately, don't say a single fucking thing. So it's pretty hard to understand it, right? But the thing is, what you need to understand here is that there was an initial B push, right? That means we had, like, a lot of players in B main. When we had a lot of players in B main, and you smoked it off, and then the players on B, look, look at this, right? They're not fighting. That means that the players from B main are not pushing onto site. If they're not pushing onto site, that means that there's a high chance they're gonna go back to B-Link and contact you. And if you're being caught off guard like here, then you are totally out of your position, right? Look. Like, you're not prepared to fight, even though that Reyna was most likely B-Main and had to go back from B-Main to B-Link. That's one of the patterns that you can that you can uh, build up when there's no one pushing on site, you can pay attention to like the minimap maybe or the way that your players are reacting. And if you're playing an anchor on A site, then you essentially shouldn't be in position that allows your opponent to just peek you and kill you and you have no cover and so on, right? Spike planted. I like the call that you said where she was and how much damage did you do. That's very oh, important oh, habit. Oh. Yeah. Fa fantastic comms breach. Thank you very much. Already muted. Standing. Yeah. Good, good thing that you're saying. My mic is a bit louder in game, don't worry. No, it's okay. It's just important for me to know what you're saying. One bullet for enemy. But I wouldn't mind muting the breach. All right, so now on, okay, on eco, I think this is something that is very much not a thing for many people to, to, to think about, and not many people, people understand this. For example, when I was playing Sky on Fracture right now, when we lost Pistol, on second round, I didn't buy my second smoke, right, because it costs me money, and I'm still, I can still use one smoke per round without spending money, but I have it on cooldown. 
So there's a high chance I'm going to use two smokes or two flashes for the round two, even though I didn't spend any money on it. But if I would buy two flashes or two smokes on Omen, right? Two flashes on Sky or two, two smokes on Omen. Then if I use one of them, I'm losing money always. And there's no guarantee that I will use the second one. Right? So you can save 150 cash for a smoke or 250 for a sky flash while still using them. Right? So, <coughs> on low buy rounds, when you want to build up economy, your signature skill that is on cooldown, you don't want to buy typically a secondary um, uh, inventory for it. Right? For Brimstone, for example, if I'm playing Brimstone and I lost piss around, I'm not buying any smokes. I'm just playing with the one that Brimstone gets for free. So now this smoke was a little bit too deep. The one that you had before. This one is fine. You're waiting for the contact. You smoke off. Okay, you go into the... Nice. I like that. I like that. It's unlucky that you had a shitty gun and he had a fucking judge on her tag, but... <laughs> but I like the play. I like the, the thinking you were waiting for the contact play from the chamber, but you didn't communicate with your chamber what you wanted to do. Right? Imagine, because the chamber fucked off and left you alone, right? Imagine if you say, chamber, don't TP out or TP close because I'm going to smoke this off and we can reposition back to a smoke. Right? You could instruct them to play with you. Wait, Borsuk was a little bit lost. By the way, great smokes by our opponents. Help the chamber to get to site. Okay, you. Oh, uh, we were. Let's, let's pay four point two. And see, this is the outcome of your buy of your second smoke on Eco. Right now, you're not gonna have a paranoia because you bought full, full uh, armor, and you have two TPs. Right, you had one TP from the previous round which you also didn't need, right? But because of the buy of the smoke from round two, you don't have the cash for the paranoia now. You could rebuy this. You can buy. You could buy a second smoke and paranoia while still having full armor right here. So, and paranoia is super important to stop pushes. Wait. If your job is anchoring sight, right? Then um I guess I would like to do pressure with an instant smoke. I think look, if you play deep on A side, right? I think even if you play deep on A side, I think it warrants using a a um a one way just by default because you you buy yourself time right you're solo anchoring a this ch chamber is playing on short so if i'm playing like on a like this oh my god epic pen fuck off and all tabs hello sado ah shit my bad so aha uh -huh. now i cannot move forward because something in the background is limiting it thank you so if I do this one way, I don't have to play in this position. Like, I don't have to be here to play with this one way. What you can do, you can, you can still stand on dice here, still do the same one way over here. At the instantly, the moment the, the, the moment the barrier drops down, you push it. And you can still, like, play, some, play back, set dice, maybe heaven. The point is, you want to buy uncertainty for 15 seconds on something that you're getting back anyway. Right? Because if you do this one way, it slows down the potential push from A main or 
requires the opponents to not dry peek but use utility to clear it so with something that you get for free and you're on, it's on cooldown you can you can buy a lot of value for yourself if you're playing on uh on the defense right and then if you hear that they're pushing out of that one way well then you do another smoke for yourself here right the thing is, like, depending if I'm if depending if I have paranoia or not, I could actually do this smoke a little bit deeper because if I have paranoia and I'm playing from dice, then I would probably prefer the 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 smoke to be a little bit deeper into the tunnel because what I well, I can do this, I can stand like backside here, jump up and down with the paranoia out and see if they're peeking out of the smoke. When they're peeking out, I'm throwing the paranoia, of course, not during the jump. And they are blinded while being out here. So they're limited in movement and it's easier for me to get kills. Right? If I don't have a paranoia, I'm doing a closer one. So people have to commit to sight to get any, anything done. Right? If I want to play the for, for paranoia, I do it a little bit deeper. Like this. Right? For example. And then remember, there's also one way here. Ah, fuck. Wait, I'm not a Norman main. Oh, yeah, I actually hit it. So there's a one way here as well. If you play from heaven, I think. Yeah, it helps you a little bit because they cannot peek like from. They have to go close, right? So this is actually pretty annoying to deal with. Like they have to peek here instead of from here, right? Uh, am I right? Wait, let me check. As I said, I'm not on Omen main. Wait, where is this? Hello? So annoying. Yeah, if you're peeking like this, then it's pretty tough. Red works? Okay. But anyway, you can just try out what can you do with the one-ways over here, right? Does this work? Well, okay, why I'm not seeing this off more often in the game? Why are Omen players not using this shit? Hello? Right? Why are Omen players not using those fucking one-ways over here? What the fuck? Like, dude, yeah, good luck pushing through this one way. I rarely, I rarely see this from any omens in my games. Very rarely see this, this, those kind of smokes. But yeah, those will give you, uh, those will give you a lot of value in general, right? And yes, and if you, if you, you can, this is something that sometimes I see in ranked, that sometimes I don't. There's a one way here on double dose as well. Which is insanely tough to push from, right? So if you if you are anchoring A side and you know that there's not much value out of a smoke and A main, you can always do a one way here and can just essentially hold double those yourself, right? So, so essentially, you want to buy as much value out of your smokes as well. This this smoke leaves oh. a huge gap, by the way. Look, the way you put the way you're putting it up, the smoke is is not the best. Because right here, there's a huge gap that will be left here. Like I can guarantee you that there's gonna be a gap. Probably like around the smoke on the top of it as well, like here. If you want to smoke from A to B, you need to be pretty precise. And you need to do something just like this. Right? Just something like this. If you do it a little bit further, like you did right here, right? Then it leaves a gap that people can abuse, and the smoke was probably a little bit too far away from the wall. That leaves a gap that people can die from. And if you know that you fucked up your smoke, always say bad smoke or something like that, you know? Bad smoke, bad smoke, shit like that. 
I don't want to wait here. Dude. Why are people not m using this more often? Beyond me. Yeah, good luck pushing this. Good luck pushing this if you're market. Sure. All right. Come on, was in the door. Dude, that guy is so loud. Now the problem is no one is holding your short, right? So you need to be very safe. I like this reposition, yeah. But you should definitely commit to that smoke. I I feel like you got scared because you thought the footsteps are way closer than they were. The footsteps were very, very far away. You could have done that smoke by yourself sometime or do that one way, right? But I like the reposition under hell because... Spike one enemy nice. Remaining. Good control. Good control. You're sticking it, but you should hide as close as possible to the Jenny. You know the doors are closed, right? The only way... Very nicely played. The only way that you could have lost this round is actually by standing in this position. If you hug... The, the Jenny right here, then you know that you're not going to get pushed from double doors. You know that you're not going to get killed from heaven and the player, the opponent was from heaven, right? Because the only way he can kill you is either by jumping down and go from, going, go from here, right? Or shooting you from heaven to the other direction. And that means that you, you would die. But I really like the reposition to hell. You know that you, uh, that you didn't want to fight short while being exposed to A main, which is very important. Now when, if, when, now when I think about it, you probably got this double kill because you didn't smoke short. Because they didn't think that, they, that, that you will be still on site. If you would have smoked, maybe they would be more aware and you would have gotten the double kill. What I like though, is that you controlled your Vandal, you didn't just spray, you didn't go into panic mode. So what's the purpose of the ping here? Alright, so two things. I don't know what the ping was for. You didn't communicate. Chamber maybe pushed even because of that, because of your ping or something, right? Because maybe he thought you're gonna paranoia for him. Right, but in general, I do think that if you're an Omen player, if you're playing on defense, you should always use your smoke at the beginning of the round in one location. It doesn't matter where, but you should be using it to buy pressure, right? Either the one way on A main or a link, B link smoke or a B main smoke. Just do whatever you can to buy a little bit pressure with the utility that is so dirt cheap because it's free and it's on cooldown. So you're able to be very, very oppressive with the smokes. I wanted to peek and shoot there, but Chamber replaced me. Yeah, but you didn't communicate as well, right? So, you have paranoia. You, do, you don't have to do anything here. Use paranoia and then, then go forward, right? You could have done that before. You took a little bit of unnecessary risk. Uh, I, I guess I'm guessing it's a miscalculation because you wanted to TP behind the boxes, right? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job. But I do think the smoke is actually beneficial to the opponents here. So if I would have been you in this situation, right? So we went to retake. I see the Reina first tempo, right? I'm hiding behind the corner. Instead of re-peeking, I'm instantly paranoid and then re-peeking, trying to kill her. She goes back. 
I'm smoking stairs like you did, right? So you can fight the players that are here. This is good. This this is so far very good, right? But when you want to push side, instead of doing this, right? Would be better to just do this, like the like here. So the player in backside doesn't know what's going on, right? But we, with this, he can push out. Or I do this. So I buy more space for myself when I go on site. You know what I mean? Like, not even... Let's find actually a better one. I would probably even maybe, maybe prefer... How would I want to do this? Wait, let me think about it. Probably like this. This would probably be my be smoke for me. If I retake from stairs, I want to go stairs, check this corner without being exposed to sight, then I can go into the smoke, check the box, so I'm not exposed to anything else, right? And then I can peek out again here, check all the corners without being exposed to anything. Right? So, you want to have like a predetermined smoke reaction like how we want to play this was this was actually not the best because as you can see someone can be here so a little bit more to the left same result better understanding and now i can go out check all the corners on the left go into the smoke spam the corner here and either peek through here not being exposed to dice right or peek through here and not be exposed to backside right and uh, if you're retaking on A, what is very important, the best smoke of retaking from heaven is this. You do a smoke here. So in this case, you can either go heaven and just check all the corners while not being exposed to anything, right? So you have a lot of space. You can just drop down from the smoke to the smoke to hell while not being exposed to anyone. Or just drop down like this, while while it's limiting the air time for your opponents. If you want to limit even even more, I think you can reposition. Like if you plan to jumping on Jenny, then I would do even this. Do it as close as possible here, like this, and then you just drop down like like this. Actually, no, because you're one weight, so no, you can't do that. Not that far away, so it's better to do it a little bit further away. Right, this is better, right? Because you jump out while being covered most of the time by the smoke, but you don't jump into a one-way so you don't blind yourself, right? Um, and the thing is, remember when you're retaking this, unless you plan to jump on top of Jenny, never jump up. Always drop down because you give less audio cues. Because if, if you jump up, you're giving an audio cue. And if you do this, it's very easy to kill you because everyone knows what's happening. But if you just drop down like this, you're instantly almost ready to fight while your opponent only got the audio cue because you jumped down here. Like, thinking about like those situations like like here, like you... You, you get this by practicing, by going to practice and thinking about how can I do a smoke here while retaking to help myself. Those are the things that you don't do during the game. You do it in, in practice for yourself. Wait, are you playing in the five stack? Or did this, the Polish guy just didn't care about communicating in English? Enemy, hey. Hmm. Now you, you. I I don't I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say, but I I would I would not. I would not use the paranoia. I would just hold the angle because you smoked it off. Holding that smoke and then hiding on contact. Again, see? The same smoke with the gap. 
It's literally the same that I spoke about. This is like the third time. This is like the third time. Uh, like the third time you did the same smoke, right? With the same problem. And by the way, closing up market doors is actually beneficial for the defenders if you're standing side. Using ult for for uh, reconnaissance. One enemy remaining. Thirty seconds left. Spike planted. Oh my god. He, he doesn't care if someone. What's going on? Is this Sage your friend? Sage was lagging. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can't understand actually what they're saying. It's like very, very uh, underground-y. <laughs> You could have been already pushed out here, you know? Nice. Right. Again, the bad smoke. You see this? This is not good. This leaves a gap on the left side of it. You know, this is really not good. Stop me, stop also, me. I literally wanted to say, literally wanted to say that no one is looking A main and it's your job. And you're stuck in the smoke menu for the duration of the round. So think about it this way. In this round... You were absent. You were AFK. You were doing not. You were not doing your job. And breach is dead because of that. Now imagine if you would be, if you would be doing those one ways at the beginning of the round, so you can focus more on yourself, right? <laughs> Build up that habit. You play Omen on defense. You use a <laughs> offensive smoke to build up pressure. Standing. Unfortunately, jets who, are, who have an active dash, they always swing uh, one step too much. Spike planted. Not trapped from the chamber. Super bad smoke from the brim. Is this immortal free? No, it's planned. One enemy remaining. Well, okay then. And by the way, Remaining. why did he get to a point where he could just kill them? Look, he went to middle of heaven so they cannot hold him. You seen this shit? He's in this position and no one shoots him because no one expects him to be here because the smokes gave him the space to be in that position. One enemy remaining. Sage, popinuj, nie, nie, nie stawiaj. Weź mi popilnuj tego shorta tutaj, żeby mi sam to nie spuszczowali. Ja tutaj spróbuję czekać pierwszego killa, dobra? So it was not a good play that he went to heaven? No, the play was good that he went to heaven because the smokes helped him to retaking. Ja to teraz jestem. If you're holding this, right? The one way would give you so much more confidence of fighting. Uo, tutaj. And this smoke is good, but again has a gap on its left side, right? But if you would be play if you would be playing it like very early, it would build up your confidence as well in the map position. I like this. So I like this. You could have maybe think about the paranoia a little bit faster, right? You kill the brimstone, you don't hear any steps, you can paranoia and just fall back or something, right? But in general, this is nice because you don't overheat. You're not pushing into a main. You're going back to your site to anchor it. Which is very nice. But again, you... I feel like you are not using your smokes. One enemy Enough. Remaining. And this is just unpa uh, lack of patience, right? 
You were closing the doors, but you repositioned too early. Last player standing. Well, he had full util. He had a stun, he had an aftershock, he could have aftershock after the ult, he could have uh, aftershock stun. There was no luck involved here. It was just bad decision making. You know? Like, unfortunately, uh, the, the, the bridge is now saying that the other guy got lucky. If you want to get better at, at, at a game, any game, you have to be critical towards yourself and this bridge is either trolling, right? Mimiing with a friend from the opposing team because maybe it's a custom map or something. Or he's just not aware that it's his own fault. Do you think Bridge should jump? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Ultimate, Aftershock, Flash, White Swing. Free fire even. Free fire or White Swing? That's about it. Nice reposition. Got an easy kill. You know about the Reyna. A little bit swing too wide. Good paranoia. And if it, this showcases what I said about the paranoia and uh, smoke for A main, right? If that smoke would have been deeper out, then that Reyna would have been paranoid with while being exposed, right? Yo, by the way, thank you much for the 49 months. Welcome back, Antarut. How are we doing? Have a good stream. Thank you. Love Thank you, Andrew. You, and you have a nice day, my friend. This this is another thing that I see very often. You know that the Reyna is here. You know that the Spike is here as well. That Reyna will not leave A-Main. Right? That Reyna will not leave A-Main. You shifting into your own smoke like this gives her an advantage. If you want to limit the amount of advantages that your opponents will have, right? If I'm in this situation... And I smoke this. And I and there's the spike here. I have a spectre, right? There's the spike here. Closed. Those are closed. This Reyna is never leaving. And I know the second player is behind the doors. My options are two. Right? The moment I hear the shots from short. And I know that this, there's the player there, right? And I still have the smoke here. I'm doing ATP. Either here or here. Or back to site. Right? Anywhere... Just not go into the smoke. And if I go into the smoke, then I have to do a a uh, a quiet peek. You know? So if you'd want to do a quiet peek, you do it like this. You don't use your shift. You do this. Here, there's no footsteps. But you ma maintain maximum speed. Practice that that um, practice that range of how much you can move without making sound. And when you're able to do that consistently, then you're able to go into smokes like this on higher speed while maintaining like same audio. You know, like you're not giving away your position. But in general, I would never push this smoke here because I know the other player is here. I know the spike is here and the, the Reyna still has to stay A main. You know, so once you hear the guy on short and you know the Reyna is here, I'm just doing a safe TP reposition, which is also important because my TP here, right, will make the other players uneasy. What did he do with the TP? How did he reposition? Right. What did he do? How did he play with the TP? I feel like the two things that you're not using enough on defense here is one, not using your smoke the moment the battery drops. In most cases, in most rounds when you're playing an anchor, you want to use that smoke literally the moment the battery drops. And you're not using your TPs to build up good positions against your opponents. Like here on A, playing in this position is actually very strong. You can always reposition then behind dice if you have good mechanics, right? You get one kill here, and you go here. That's some things that you can also practice. Like, I, I never practiced this, but uh, I, I think it's like semi-easy to do it. Yeah, this was bad. But the first one was good, right? 
And imagine if you just like also one way here. Like if you one way from that direction, no one expects you here. If you're one waying from this direction, well, it's more anticipated that you'll be here, but you have still a fucking one way for yourself, right? But it's, if you this do this left side one, one way, then I would be anticipating that you are standing on those boxes here. But it's still tough to push you. And also remember that omen smokes are hearable from 14 meters. So if someone is up to 14 meters next to you, Careful. right? Right? Here. So here, if you're smoking from this corner right here, and someone is standing in wine, here. they're gonna hear you. Oh, bad TP. Yeah. If you practice shit like this, you're gonna be much better anchor, I would say. Alright? Like... This is like more complicated, but it's it's like, I think it might be useful for you. But remember, first moment of the game, I'll probably just one way this, even if I'm not standing A main. Or, just do this. So you can buy time for yourself because they have to check wine. Right? Because they don't know if you cross the line. Player standing. Does it make sense to make both one ways knowing they're both pushing a main? No, I wouldn't say so. I can't assess what range the TP will make noise or not. It's footsteps range. 40 meters. And uh, it's um, okay. it's literally seen on the minimap. When I do the TP, look at the minimap. Wait. Oh, wait. That is actually incorrect, what, it, what the minimap shows. What the fuck? You don't hear where the TP goes into. You hear it when the TP goes out yeah. from, but it doesn't okay, showcase yeah. the 40 meters range. That is very weird, by the way. That is incorrect. That's something. Uh, I w that's something I will show to the devs. Spike down oh, mid. Does a small sound where you TP into? Uh, I don't think it does a TP no, sound where you TP in. into. I never heard an omen tipping into, but I don't know. Maybe there is one. I, there, there shouldn't be. I don't think there should be. This I don't like. The paranoia here didn't give you anything. Swinging of a paranoia is very, uh, very, very, very fucking powerful. But here, I, I feel like you... you The one time against uh, Reyna, you paranoid her. She went into the smoke, but you played off it. That was super risky as fuck. That was your decision, I guess. Um, I, again, slow peak, right? Look, you need to practice this. You, you are doing a, a, a slow peak with a shift, which makes you... Which will make you lose gunfights. If you peak like this... Sorry. If you peak like this, you're a target easier to kill. Right? But if you go for those peaks that I explained to you, you are faster, right? While not doing the sound, and you can just go instantly back. Thirty seconds left. I mean, someone. So you know about Sova now, because the shock dust went from up close. The shock dust were doing short sound. That means that the Sova was from A main. And the kill is now on, on B, on B, right? You saw the, the legs as well. Now it's planting Jenny. You should you should say it's planting, right? And it's which position? Like planting Jenny. planted.
again, this the smoke doesn't give you much. It, it and now you don't even know if someone is in the smoke. You know what? Oh my god, you stuck it. You know what? The one player on dice, right? Last player standing. Yeah, see, the smoke fucked you over. On the right. Uh, I know it was my main. Never mind. The kids went to heaven. So here, in this round, if you go for those smokes, don't go for the ult because the thing is, when you went for this smoke and you go for the ult, you are not receiving information about what's going on on Switch, right? So you you essentially helped the player in in Switch. Right? That was the main problem. And if you want to retake with the ult, then don't smoke, right? And just go like here, for example. Now we can give info, cancel if needed, right? If you like see if uh, you don't see players or you just don't want to risk it or something, and that's it, right? And you can just always check if there's a player here and you can cancel, which gives you a lot of opportunities, right? But if you don't want to use the ultimate, then a smoke for retaking in this, same purpose like we explained before. You want to buy yourself space, right? So for example, let's think about it. Smoke like this allows you to clear switch, allows you to clear those without being exposed, right? This allows you to peek into, into Jenny and peek out of Jenny while being almost undetectable from a main or from dice. Right? So you have a little bit more opportunities. Can we do the smoke better? Oh, fucking epic pen. Ah! Fucking epic pen, man. Can you stop? They had Killjoy, Moise, and Savold. Very hard to win anyway. No, no, no. Those, th that utility wouldn't matter if Omen would have been alive. You know? So now this one is worse because you... I think it's worse. Yeah, this one is worse. It needs to be deeper. The, the, one, the first one was better. Anyway, the point is, you always want to do a smoke that helps you out while retaking. And it's carving out uh, angles, right? No, I don't like this one. The one on the left was better. Unlucky. As much as this will kill to defend it. Hello, Lovangel. I'm good. What about yourself? Snuff them out. Enemy spotted mid. This smoke doesn't do any any of its job. Look. The way you do it, right? Look. The way you set it up. It doesn't achieve anything because the players are typically on this side, so they can still see. The point of the smoke is to cover everything here, right? So the players from top mid don't know what's going on on mid. Ah. Mary, in general, remember to, to rewatch yeah, again yeah. my smokes tutorial on YouTube and then the worst smoke tutorial as well. And also the pressure video. Those three guides that I have on my YouTube, like about the, the smokes, about the, the worst smokes in the game, oh, and about the, the pressure, Five will teach plans. you a lot about theory in general.
15 seconds, right? Will that smoke help you anything here? Last See, this, this, this is like um, a little bit lack of patience. You should worry about yourself more than your teammates here when you're retaking. Like, they're, they're together, you're alone, right? They're together, you're alone. That smoke that you do here is fine if you want to help your teammates, right? Like, you should do it, like, probably closer here. Or fucking epic pen. God damn it, man. Or, like, for example, uh, I would say... <sighs> I'm gonna go mad with this epic pen, but I don't want I don't want to turn it off. So uh in, in general, like smoking out of market here or smoking out of CT or smoking like this, right? All of this would be more helpful than the smoke over here. Because it doesn't like it's behind the potential players holding CT holding market, right? So you want to like if you want to help your teammates here, this smoke, this smoke, or Essentially, this smoke is better than this. Because this smoke didn't affect anyone. Right? And now... Um, how is the CT smoke good? Fuck! Did I swear? I fight without being exposed to lane. I can check stairs without being exposed to B main. I can peek here without being exposed to uh, lane as well. Buys me space. Um, and if you don't want to use the smoke, that's also fine. Because then when you're going up here, you can use the smoke for yourself over here. Like this, right? When you're closer. right? And that paranoia... If you're using it like this, you exactly sell your position. Dude, I, I, I'm, fuck me, man. Epic, I'm gonna move it here, so it's activating less. So, when I'm retaking here, if I do this, if I do this paranoia like this, they will know exactly where I'm coming from and the server is prepared for you. That exactly happens, right? Now imagine if you're like, if you're not known and you have the time, you can just sneak by, be prepared, go like this, and then paranoia like here to get the, the control of B main if you're worried about it, right? Or use it to help your teammates and just put it forward like this. It all depends on the location of teammates, but remember that in most cases, fuck your teammates, play for yourself. If you get kills, you have a higher chance of winning. And so far, I have seen only you want you use paranoia once for yourself, and it's a super powerful uh, utility. You know? Saving. How much cash do you have? 4.8 small armor you spent 500 okay if you like this kind of a buy this kind of a buy allows you to use paranoia and all the all the, uh, allows you to buy all the utility next round which is okay Doesn't Paranoia work better if it's coordinated with the team? Yeah, but of course it does. But the thing is, uh, Maori here didn't communicate with her team to actually use the Paranoia and also didn't help her, right? So it's like the worst outcome of everything. So, you, s you heard two steps. Next time, say, Brimstone be main. Sova be main, whatever. Doesn't matter. Like, if you know that the sound is significant, right? This could have been Sova or Brimstone. But one person be main. One player be main. One be main. This is more precise. Gives, like, because your your, your be main could be an impression of, oh, they're pushing be main. Right? Okay. 
Jeszcze na B-Main? Yeah, your bridge is not listening to what you're saying. Although you could have said it a little bit faster. So that, that jet is staying there. You could use the paranoia now. No, no, no. See, you know that the, the jet is there, right? No one is going to be standing lane, more likely. So what you could have done is just paranoia push. Right? Paranoia push and just go in or smoke B main and go lane. Player standing. Another be main. Just pinch a shot. Yeah, Brim and Breach have the same sounds. Um, when it comes to footsteps, Kaya has different ones. Sova is different than Brim and Breach, but very similar. <laughs> Hello, Ding Dong, how are you doing? Uh, Okie dokie. Let's see how you're anchoring B. Okay. So now, this is gonna be tough because you're just letting them go on B. So it's mm -hmm. essentially not, it's not like anchoring, but it's, yeah, not, but it's like essentially you're absent in this round. So Reyna, as you can see on the minimap, she's doing your job as an anchor on B. And you fully expose yourself to B main without certainty that there's no one there, by the way, right now. You could have died right here. Right? So by playing backside B, you're just literally just... It's a, it's a 4v, 4v5 this round, like you just got killed. See, it's a, look, look at the position. Reyna plays for contact here. What you should do, instead of standing like this, right? You should be a play. Fuck me. You're standing like here, right? While the Reyna is standing like this. And this is the this is the angle of Reyna. You can see this on the minimap. A correct play from you would be standing here, like this, waiting for the contact of Reyna, and when the Reyna has contact, starts shooting, you go, boop, kill them, or paranoia kill them. Fuck me. Epic pan, fuck off. Right? But you're not... You're not... Uh, communicating and you're not playing off your teammate that is doing something essentially for you. See? Spike down. The Reyna is still holding that B main. So this entire round you are not doing anything essential, right? Elgato sponsor him? I'm being sponsored by Elgato. This is not Elgato's fault. This is just the software here. The Epic Pen. I'm clicking this with my mouse when I'm in the game, so it, so it overrides Valorant. This has nothing to do with Elgato. One enemy remaining. Spike down mid. Ten seconds left. Nice. All right. Hopefully, I helped you with this vote review, uh, and you learned something. I strongly advise to rewatch all the all the free uh, YouTube guides about smokes and pressure. Like, you can really apply a lot of that in your gameplay. Thank you very much for sending the vote review.